When you are making changes to your website, it is important that your changes are not shown to the public unless you're completely done and finished. When developing websites, there is something called staging that allows us to make changes without everyone seeing. You can think of a staging environment as a copy of a website that is created for testing, reviewing, and making changes before you show it to the public. For example, say you're wanting to try a new plugin for your WordPress website. It is important that you test out the plugin before you release it to your live audience. In a development process, developers like to separate environments to make sure that their work is clean. A common development process looks like this. As you can see, we go from developing, testing, staging, and production. But with WordPress, all we have to worry about is from staging to production. And I am going to show you how to create a staging environment for your website. There are three ways to do it, through your hosting service, with a plugin, or manually. The easiest way to create a staging environment is through your hosting service. With Hostinger's Pro Plan, for example, you can create a staging environment with one click of a button. There are also plugins that allow you to create staging environments, or you can do them manually. But I would not recommend that you do it manually because that can create some problems if you are not careful. And in this video, I am going to show you how to create a staging environment with a plugin. The first thing that you will need to do is go onto your WordPress website and scroll down where it says plugin and you are going to click on add new. There are several WordPress plugins that will allow you to create staging environments like WP Stagecoach, WP Staging, Blog Vault, or WP Time Capsule. But for this video, I am going to show you how to create a staging environment with WP Staging. So all you're going to do is type in WP staging and as you can see it's the first one that pops up and it has five stars with 70,000 plus active installations so you're gonna click on install now now once you've installed it you can click on activate once activated you will see this and this is just describing you the pro plan keep in mind that we will be using the free version of WP staging so we will not be able to automatically push our staging website into live production but we can use it just to test our plugins and anything else and manually move those changes to our live website so here we're just going to click on skip and start WP staging and when you scroll down you will see that WP staging makes it really easy to create a staging environment with just a click of a button so click on create staging site now you're gonna enter a site name for your staging website so I'm going to enter in my first website staging and it will copy all the database and the files that you have on your current website here and all you have to do is click on start cloning now just wait and now as you can see your staging site has been created successfully and you can go to it by just clicking on this link and now you are on your staging website so at the very top you will have an orange bar that will tell you that it's your staging website and as you can see this website is an exact copy of your live website and you can scroll down and compare and see that they are exactly the same now all you have to do is make changes here you can edit with Elementor or test out any plugins that you would like to make sure that it's working and once that's working you can manually make those changes on your actual website after seeing that it works on your staging website. If you do get the pro version of WP staging, you will be able to push your staging website to your live website with just a click of a button. And that's how you do it. That's how you create a staging website for your WordPress website. Please like and subscribe for more videos like this. Here on this channel, we create videos on how to build websites for creators like you and also dive into some cool tricks and tips on building websites.